What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. Oh, and Kit Kat. For today's video, I decided to do something a little different for you guys. To celebrate my 31st birthday, I'm going to share with you guys 31 facts about myself. And no, most of them are actually not about Harry Potter or books. I talk about my past, Calvin, how we met, a little bit about Harry Potter. So yeah, I thought for my 31st birthday it would be nice just for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. But not only that, I'm actually going to be giving you guys something. To celebrate me hitting 3,000 subscribers, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. And there won't just be one winner in this giveaway, there will actually be two winners because I have two giveaway boxes and they are humongous. <laughs> so I will be giving you guys all of the details at the very end of this video so make sure you stay tuned till then but I'm gonna go ahead and get to these facts. So if you are interested keep watching and let's get into it. Fact number one, I am actually only 4'11". Now guys, let that sink in for a minute. Kit Kat! Get down! That means I still struggle in the shallow end of the pool. Yeah, I'm still on my tippy toes. And no joke guys, people still think that I'm like a teenager, which, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. But not even that guys. We shrink when we get older. I'm legit gonna be like three feet tall when I'm old. I'll pretty much just be a carry-on by then. Okay, fact number two is my daytime job is a nurse. I work on a neurosurgical floor, which means we get a lot of patients with brain tumors, patients who have had strokes. But the unfortunate side of that is most of the time our patients are confused. And no lie guys, funny story. I was probably 34 weeks pregnant with Bella. And I had a very confused patient. Y'all, this man was probably 6'4", and again, I'm 4'11", and he was so confused. Oh my gosh. And I was trying to get him to like stay in bed. This man started chasing me. Y'all, 34 weeks pregnant, I was running slash waddling down the hall, yelling for help. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, y'all, the stories nurses could tell. Fact number three is I have actually tried to drown both of my sisters on separate occasions. Middle child syndrome? Any other middle children out there? I really wanted to be an only child. Uh, <laughs> No, okay, so my sister actually wanted me to tell this. Both of these were totally not even my fault. I was younger, but for real though, they would have drowned if my parents weren't there. But totally accidents, guys. Total accidents. Uh, <laughs> fact number four, my nickname in high school from 10th grade to 12th grade was The. The. Yes, you heard me right. The. So I was in band, I was in color guard, and there was a senior, and her nickname was Tabby, which is my name, Tabby. Uh, but our instructor was like, we can't have two Tabbies. And apparently, Tabitha was too long. So he was like, Tabitha, Tabitha, the. 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 So there you go. My nickname for 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade was The. <laughs> I legit even had a, had a hat with The on it. And that, that was my nickname because Tabitha was too long for my color guard instructor. <laughs> uh, fact number five, I have never gotten a detention never gotten a speeding ticket, I will pretty much have no great stories of my lawless days to tell my children. Um, knock on wood on the speeding ticket. So yeah, I am pretty much follow the book, the law person. You don't, 
You don't digress. That's the role you do it. So boring. I never went to one high school party. Legit. I stayed home and read and watched movies with my parents. Fact number six is I have four tattoos. One of them is actually a sister tattoo. Me and my two sisters have the exact same tattoo. I actually do want to get another Harry Potter tattoo. I have my Harry Potter glasses with the lightning bolt. Um, but I do want another Harry Potter tattoo. That's my next one. But I want to get like a custom Harry Potter tattoo. Like a tattoo that nobody has. But I can't draw. Like at all. So I, I don't know. I haven't found one that I just absolutely love. So, so yeah. Number seven. And this one is probably a big one for you guys. I actually dated Calvin in secret from my parents for a year. I think it was a year and like 10 days before I told my dad. Um, yeah, because I was raised, you treat everybody the same. You do. But white, date white, and black, date black. That was just how I was raised. But that isn't what I believed. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I started dating Calvin in college. So we dated a while. And... You know, after a year, I was like, I'm pretty sure he's the one. So I told my dad, and which actually wasn't that bad. They love Calvin now, so everything is good. Um, it really was just that's how they were raised. But thank God times change. So, whew. <laughs> Fact number eight. I was in band. I played trumpet. Um, I was in band all through high school and uh, college. Again, that's how me and Calvin met. I was also in color guard. I was the captain in high school and I got scholarships to college for band and color guard. I actually chipped my front tooth with my flag. So half of my front tooth is totally fake, guys. Like, they had to fill it in. I think I had to go, like, three days with half a tooth before I could go to the dentist. Like, number nine. Now, these next two might actually surprise you as well. I was in a sorority in college, Alpha Sigma Alpha, and I was also in a step show. That is right. Like, if you've seen the movies, like, where they do, like, step battles and stuff, I was in one of those, and I'll, and I'll insert the pictures and stuff. There was one part in the show where I was at the very front, and I had to go, like, huh, and I was, like, trying to look, like, all mean and bad, but I had to be in the front because I'm the shortest. Oh, uh, it was, uh, it was fun. Fun times. Yeah, we lost. We lost. The cheerleaders won because they were doing like flips and towers and stuff. Like they barely did like any actual steps. Like it was just all flips and stuff. Like I'm not bitter or anything. Like <laughs> number 10. I was actually uh, kicked out of a sorority um, for hazing. <laughs> but technically we were the ones who were hazed. But we still got kicked out. But the ones who hazed us, they didn't get kicked out. Yeah. Again, I'm not bitter. <laughs> it's an interesting story. It's probably way too long for this video, but yeah. Number 11, I secretly wanted to be a model growing up. Legit. I for real though used to do like runway shows in my house growing up and like practice posing in the mirror and then I hit fifth grade and stopped growing so there's that. <laughs> Number 12 is I love to sing but I can't sing and I am never quiet. It used to drive my mom bonkers growing up because I would be singing constantly and again I can't sing not even joking, cannot sing, love to sing. And I always make sound effects. Like if you notice in my bloopers, I'm always doing something like da 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 da. Like I'm always making some type of sound between silence. Like I can't be quiet. Like y'all really should just feel sorry for Calvin. Just in general, just feel sorry for him. Poor, poor man. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> Number 13 is I am such a mood reader and that is why I have found that I am not good at TBRs. A lot of you guys have asked me to start sharing like my TBRs and my monthly wrap ups and stuff. And guys, the few times that I have done TBRs, it is so hard for me to stick to them. Like my brain is just crazy. Like if I tell my brain I can only read these books this month, those are the books I just don't want to read this month. Legit, I, I don't know why. <laughs> For some reason, limiting myself to just those books makes me not want to read them. Something's wrong up there. That's kind of why I just don't make TBRs, so. And number 14 was, I don't really rate my books. I either liked it or I didn't. Like, I know a lot of you booktubers like have their rating system one through five. Um, and like, if I'm talking to a booktuber and I know I loved a book, I'll tell them it's a five because I know that's what their mindset is. Like, that means it was amazing, but to me, I either liked it or I didn't. Like, I don't read a book to rate it. I just read a book to enjoy it. Like, I've never tabbed books. I've never kept notes on books. I Like, I've really wanted to get more into BookTube. I don't know how because I feel like I'm not like them and that's just not how I read. Like, if I do reviews and stuff and wrap-ups, I'm like, uh, how do I talk about books without rating it and like giving spoilers away so I, I don't know but kind of without doing TBRs and wrap-ups I mean that's like that's such a big part of booktube and I kind of fell at both of those and so I'm kind of just like I don't know what else to really do for booktube so yeah <laughs> Number 15, my favorite book series other than Harry Potter, the Highlander series and Fever series. <sighs> I can't go into detail about all these series because this video is long enough. The series has magic, romance, just everything. Highlanders, did I say that? Sexy Highlanders? Yes. You're welcome. The Shadow Falls series, that's a YA series. It's about teenagers with powers and it focuses on the main character who can't really figure out her power and kind of where she belongs. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is amazing. I've read that series so many times and it's an easy series to read. And then the Selection series, which I think most of the booktube community knows about these selection series, so amazing. Prince Maxon is everybody's book boyfriend. Um, and I've heard they're actually gonna turn it into a movie on Netflix. Is that right? Have y'all heard that? Let me know. Fact number 16, my favorite standalone books, The Secret, The Bride, and Guardian Angel. All three of those are adult romance books. And when I say I have read those thousands and thousands and thousands of times, not, not really, but like I've read them so many times I've lost count, especially The Secret. Like I literally can read that book in like half a day, not even, because I've read it so many times. It is so good. Like that is my favorite book. Um, but also Ella Enchanted. That was my favorite book growing up other than Harry Potter. Number 17, my favorite TV shows is The Big Bang Theory, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, hence Xander. Uh, Xander. Like, I loved Xander on that show. Calvin wouldn't let me name Bella Buffy, so she got Bella. And then Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, don't even get me started on the movie. Like, they didn't even pronounce his name right. Ong. Are you, uh, don't even get me started. <sighs> Number 18, I don't play video games. Like, I've never finished a video game ever. I think the only game like I've ever really played is Spyro and I've never even finished it. Like I have no patience for video games. Like I get stuck on something and then it just makes me mad and, I, and I'm like, I'm done, I'm done, I can't do it. <laughs> I either make Calvin like try to get me through or I just, I'm like, I'm done, I can't. Uh, so yeah, I have like no patience for video games and I'm just like, nah. I'd rather read a book like I, I <laughs> Number 19, the happiest moment in my life was my kids being born. Um, so yeah, that's kind of obvious. Even though Bella did have to go to NICU, which was like the scariest moment because like 
she, I had to have C-sections for both of my kids. I'm so small, they couldn't get past my little bone, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> he held her over the little curtain and then they took her and I heard her crying and then like, she stopped and I was like, I'm like, Calvin, she's not crying. And then like, she would cry for a second and then she would stop. And then I'm like, Calvin, I don't hear her crying. And then like finally the NICU, the NICU nurse came and was like, we have to take her to the NICU. She had aspirated on um, amniotic fluid and they had to keep suctioning her and her oxygen kept dropping. So they willed her past me with like oxygen on her face. They willed me back to my room and I was by myself. Like everybody was waiting to go to NICU to see Bella. And I was just in my room by myself like, it, this, <laughs> That, that, that wasn't so happy, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luckily, she was fine, you know, it wasn't anything worse than that, but yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was scary. Number 20. I honestly thought about not sharing this with you guys. Uh, uh, the saddest moment in my life. Um, I actually was pregnant before Xander, uh, but we had a miscarriage, and... Yeah, me and Calvin were had been trying to get pregnant, I think, for almost a year. And then I had finally gotten pregnant. Like, oh my gosh, finally. And then about 10 weeks in, and I was at work, and yeah. So yeah, that was, oh. Yeah. I would not wish that. on anybody. Number 21, I am addicted to sunflower seeds. Y'all, legit, I could probably eat like 10 bags of sunflower seeds in one sitting. Like I eat them until like my lip, if you eat sunflower seeds, you know what I'm talking about. Like until it's raw, like I have a problem. Number 22, my favorite music is hip hop, rap, and R&B. I like never listen to country. Not saying I hate country. Like there are a few songs that I really like, but I am pretty much strictly just R&B, hip hop, and rap. Like, love it. Fact number 23, I have never been on a plane or even a train like I have been on a cruise so I mean I have been out of the country like on a cruise but that's like the only way I've been out of the country is like I went on a cruise with my husband I want to go on a plane like everybody's like oh is you're not missing anything and I'm like well I want to know I want to know what it's like <laughs> number 24 the thing that annoys me the most about Harry Potter okay book five there are so many things about book five that I'm just, it's my least favorite book to start off with because for one, Sirius gives Harry a freaking mirror so they can communicate with each other. So the fact that Harry just forgot about it and never even opened it, like that right there would have saved Sirius's life. Like it, ugh. <sighs> like when Harry used the fireplace the first time to talk to Sirius and Lupin about what he saw in Snape's memory, why the crap didn't Sirius be like, hey, use the mirror next time? And the fact that nobody, nobody thought that it would be a good idea to be like, hey, Harry, heads up. Don't go to the Ministry of Magic. That's all you had to say. Like, that's literally all you had to say. Dumbledore was like, I had to separate myself from you. Like, legit. Like, nobody thought they could have told Harry. Like, we think Lord Voldemort might try to lure you to the Ministry of Magic. And they knew. They knew. Like, Snape saw that Harry was dreaming about the Ministry of Magic. And even then, they didn't tell Harry not to go. What? Like, book five. 
I mean, I do love book five. It's my it's my least favorite, but I still love it. Like, I, I know it had to happen the way it did. Like, why? Why? Fact number 25, the thing I would change if I could is Dobby or Fred's death. Like, those hurt the most. Like, honestly, I kind of feel like I would change Fred's more because Dobby, like, I feel like he died, like, the way he would really, really want to. Like, he died saving Harry Potter and, like, I feel like he wouldn't, want to, ha wouldn't have wanted to die any other way. But, like, Fred dying just seemed so pointless. Like, so pointless. And, uh, Fred. Like, I feel like all of us are, like, a part of the Weasley family. So, losing a Weasley was just, it was like losing a family member. And, why, JK? Why? But I do love the fan theory that George went on to become Willy Wonka. Have you guys heard that? I totally see that. I really, really do. Like, who else would hold the contest to find somebody to leave his factory and, of course, give it to the poor kid who refuses to betray him? Like, that sounds like George. I'm just saying. Fact 26 is, I don't love the movies as much as you probably think I do. Like, I love the movies just because they're the movies, <sighs> but I have a lot of problems with the movies. Pretty much the first three movies are the only ones I actually really like to watch. Four and back are sometimes really hard for me to watch, especially the fourth one, because the fourth book is my favorite book, and the movie, like there are so many things in that movie that just make me, like when Harry is fighting the dragon and he's just fumbling around on the rocks and Hermione's like, your wand, Harry, your wand, use your wand. Like, what? What? And then he spends like the next five minutes just flying around hitting the towers and like, what? What? Like, in the book, he was like the fastest one done. Like, he did not need Hermione to yell out, use your wand, Harry. Like, he's not an idiot. That, oh my God. That literally, I cannot watch that part. Like, I seriously, if it's just me, I will fast forward past the whole first task. Like, the second task and the third task, thank God, are not bad. But that first, use your wand, Harry. <laughs> And then movie six, where they take out the part where Dumbledore tells off the Dursleys for how they treated Harry and replaced it with Harry in a train station talking to some girl. What? What? Like, I understand, like, they the movies had to take stuff out because they were some long-ass books. Like, they were some big books, okay? I understand. But then you replaced it with, like, stupid stuff. Like, like that was such a great moment in the books. The Dursley sitting there with the glasses bumping on their head and then Dumbledore telling them off. What? Why in the world would they take that out? I will never understand that. So many things. Like, there are so many things about the movies that are so hard for me to watch. So, yes. 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 My most unpopular Harry Potter opinion. I still hate Professor Snape. I said it. People amaze me when they're like, I love Professor Snape. Why? Like, dude, pretty much through the entire series, like seriously, through pretty much all of the entire series, like what, the last chapter? Up to like the last chapter, we hated him. The very end, we realized that, yeah, okay, he was on our side the entire time, which is great, like, thank God. But he was still the world's biggest jerk. Like, he was so mean to the trio. Like, I can't just forget and forgive for the years of torture. And he was still a Death Eater. Like, people seem to forget that. Like, he still tortured and probably killed muggles. The only reason he stopped was because of one woman. But keep in mind, guys, 
she wasn't even enough to keep him from becoming a Death Eater. Like, go back to his memories. She even said in there, you have chosen your path, I have chosen mine. He became a Death Eater. The only reason he stopped was because Lord Voldemort killed her. Like, that's one thing about his character that I've never understood. Why would he even become a Death Eater if he was in love with a Muggle-born? My most unpopular opinion, number 28, my biggest Harry Potter dream, of course, is to meet J.K. Rowling, like, and just to hug her and talk to her and... Like, I think that's every Harry Potter fan's, like, biggest dream is just to meet her. <laughs> I would love to meet her. Number 29. Ooh. I have actually once or twice took a sneak peek into a box before filming. I've only done it that once or twice. I don't even remember what boxes it was. Oh, I, it was so long ago, but yeah, I have taken a, I've taken a sneak peek before. <laughs> Number 30. I secretly wish I could have my own Harry Potter subscription box. Shh. No, but for real, I kind of wish that for like five seconds, and then I'm kind of like, ugh. Just imagine how much work actually goes into those boxes. Like, I've seen like a tad bit of the behind the scenes, and I'm like... I'll stick to the unboxing part, like the fun. I get to get, I have the fun part of it. It would be fun to come up with a box and stuff, but yeah. And last but not least, my biggest YouTube dream is to become big enough that the London studio tour would notice me and would actually like want to work with me because as I've said like a thousand times, I really want to go to London and go to the studio tour, but they have like worked with like Cherry and stuff and like she's, you know, she she's Cherry Wallace. So I mean, you know. So yeah, that's like my biggest, biggest YouTube dream. Like, I, you know, it's up there. That would take a lot. So yeah. But guys, that was all 31 facts about me. What do you think? What are you most surprised about? I am most surprised that this took an hour and 11 minutes. Oh my gosh. I did not think this video would be that long. That's <sighs> because I ramble a lot. I'm sorry. But now for the giveaway. Again, to celebrate me hitting 3,000 subscribers, which again, you guys, I cannot thank you enough. I honestly never thought I would get anywhere close to 3,000. Like, I know that doesn't seem like much to some, but to me, that's just, you guys amaze me. And I, I really appreciate every single one of you. Just thank you guys so much for your support and just being a part of this channel with me. I really love just getting to do this with you guys, getting to talk to you and enjoy all of this together. And to celebrate that, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with two winners. All you have to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please don't subscribe to unsubscribe. I'm sure it'll happen, but again, that kind of shady, like, please don't be Shay Shay. Uh, <laughs> please don't be Shay Shay. And leave a comment down below with what fact of my 31 surprised you the most. Again, I will be randomly picking two winners because I have this massive box and this massive box to give away to you guys. This will be international, but if the winner that is randomly chosen is international and I can't ship to you right now, Hopefully when everything is lifted and I can, I will ship then because I definitely don't want to leave out my international subscribers. I want to make this open to everybody. So guys, don't forget to enter into this giveaway. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again for all of your support and I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs> for today's video, I decided to do something. <laughs> I'm going to share. Ah. Kit Kat, what are you doing? I'm actually gonna be giving, stop Kit Kat, stop. Ugh. 3,000 subscribers, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000,
Mommy Cat. We're now singing. Really, Kit Kat? Like, I'm the person you probably don't want to watch the movies with because I'm the person who's like, that's not how it happened in the book. I still hate him. I can't forgive him.